um cracked this bad boy a while back about a year ago mm, had it taped up and i was living like that for a minute um what had happened was this light up under here the one that's flickering started going out now if you can see that light is like a led light so it ain't like one of these light bulbs where you can just replace it so that means this whole entire housing needed to be replaced or this whatever it would be called i'm no professional so you get your your tool bit five sixteenth and you and unscrew that like that of course you want to order the right one the right uh light thing that ran me about 120 bucks maybe 100 a little over 100 dollars you know i've seen it online from amazon i'm gonna put the uh a, a flick in the uh at the end of the, the video so y'all can google it i could do a link in the description but you can uh do a little work now you just gotta pull this boy out you just gotta you gotta pull this boy out hold on it's kind of popped in there like you gotta pop it out hold on let me let me pause this so what i did was a little bit right here and I put my other hand back on wedged in there and just pulled it out you see how it's in there you see how it's in there it's just latched to, to that to that so you just had to pop it out but be careful because this is where it needs to be un, un, unlatched from so uh let me get it off let me pause it again now you have to put your finger under this and it's a thing you press you squeeze it in i'm gonna show it to you see that let me see bad angle all i did was all i did was push this in see how that pushes in it pushes in didn't have to untape that or nothing that's something else then this is free then I get the new one and do everything in reverse. Let's unbox this. I'm one hand in this. So hold on, pause it. Okay. Get that side of there. Boom. Seem to be the right one. I don't know why that's taped to that. But let's hook it up. Let's get it hooked up. Again, make sure everything line up. Take this plastic off. Oh. Slide that boy right up in there. Pause it while I do it. I should have had my son come on here and help me. But you know, you can't get teenagers to do anything with you. He'll wait till I'm finished and then say, oh, I would have came to help. Gonna, oh, I would have came to help. I'm just trying to plug that back in. I guess you guys ain't got to see me do that perfectly, but you get the picture. Boom. Drop that right in there. As soon as I plugged it in, it lit up just like that. You slide that thing in place. Right into place. Let's see. That ain't a crack, is it? No, that's too even to be a crack. Hold on. It's a little bit of imperfection right there. Like a little burn or something, but I'm gonna pop this right in place. You get everything lined up. Let me get that lined up. Hold on. Okay, it's lined up. Now, just got to screw these in. These two screws, 
anchor it back in, done deal. You guys ain't got to see me do that. Okay, YouTube. Hmm. Those of you who are watching this, I don't know if YouTube still exists by the time you watch this, but as you can see, I purchased this twice before. And this company, um, they're cool. The first one they sent me. Now, I didn't go through them for the re to, for the, to uh, fix the issue. I just sent it back because you, uh, because uh, Amazon is very good about returns. I just sent it back and um, then just simply reordered, and they sent me out another a different one. This different one worked perfectly. Now. How can I how can I go to my review? Because my review would tell you everything you need to know. Let me see. This is my review right here with this. I got that coding on the first one. Uh brake light bulb fault. When I installed it and then got in the car and started it, it gave me that. You know. Let me see if I can bring up the review I made. And then I can read that to you real quick. Mm. Oh, I updated it since then, but 2018 Ford Escape looks great. Doesn't work how it should. After installation, all light seems to work fine until I start driving. And I noticed that the brake light didn't respond to me to my tapping of the brake paddle. Maybe it was just the unit that I received. We'll send it back and try it for another, which I did and the other one worked perfectly. So this is what I suggest. This is what I suggest. Um, They didn't update my review, but I did update it for these guys. Um. I hate to put this out there like that, like it's a one star. I gave it four stars on the second go around. I did give it four stars because I had to go through all this. But um, it's definitely a five star product if you get it right the first time. If they send out the right one the first time. But in comparative to what's out there, $300, $250 for a product, this is a, a half the price. It's worth it. Say less.